Hey everybody, it's Guy Gelso here, and I'm going to talk to you about a lifelong passion of mine, playing drums. You know, as drummers, the pursuit of excellence for us is a lifelong endeavor. It never ends. We grow up learning to play by listening, watching drummers, trying to duplicate the parts, asking questions, taking lessons, stealing ideas from anyone and everyone that has drumsticks in their hands. We get together as friends and groups and we trade ideas. We're always going, hey man, how did you do that? Or you offer help to some young guy that's struggling. Hey, let me show you this great idea I have. I have never known ever a drummer that was not interested in improving their skills and sharing what they know. It just doesn't exist. Now, fortunately for us, drumming has a deep history of tradition. And the great drummers before us literally came up with the basics that became the foundation of our drum house. And to make that giant leap forward in your playing, you have to pass through the drum books based on their findings. There's just no way around it. These first drummers defined what we do. Billy Gladstone with his famous finger control. George Lawrence Stone with his wrist and his free stroke. And Sanford Moeller, and we've all heard the Moeller technique before, and his famous arm whip motion. From these three master teachers came the teachers that wrote these books we study today and just about all other books are based off of. Now after much research from talking and studying with some of these great teachers myself, here are the six books everyone agrees will elevate your playing, allow you to execute these parts you're hearing in your head but you're currently struggling with. Book number one, Stick Control by George Lawrence Stone. Stone wrote the first serious drum technique book in 1935. That was 85 years ago. And this is the book that changed the landscape of educational books. Just listen to some of the comments that are in the liner notes from the major drummers today and the past. Steve Gadd. Stick control has been with me my entire drumming career. It has helped me to sharpen the tools of expression. This book is very important to practice every day. Steve Smith, the famous drummer from Journey, Vital Information, so many other bands. Regardless of what style of music you play or which percussion instruments you specialize in, Stick Control is an essential text for building strong drumming fundamentals. How about Thomas Lang, one of the new hot players that come up in the last few years? From my first drum lesson until today, Stick Control has been the guidebook and the omnipresent theme of my drumming career. Even when I looked for drumming literature to improve my foot technique, I ended up using stick control. It's that good. I mean, it just goes on and on, front and back cover. And this updated version has so many quotes from these famous drummers. And not only is it the best and only sticking book you'll probably ever need, but like all these great books, it can be played in endless ways by adapting the pages. I mean, I personally know at least 25 ways to change this book up. It's a must-have book. Book number two, Advanced Techniques for the Modern Drummer by Jim Chapin, released in 1948. This is the definitive jazz independence book, but it's so much more. This was one of the first books I went through and was a game changer for me. Now, I was fortunate to not only study with Jim, but also be his friend, a great honor. And he was a walking encyclopedia of drumming. If we were at a trade show, you would find 30 drummers surrounding him as he's got a pad in his hand and a stick in the other hand showing everybody how to do the molar stroke. Now, he was just famous for that. And what he taught me about independence, hand control, and then this molar stroke has kept me playing pain-free for years and years. And Jim was also a very forward-thinking drummer. And in the liner notes of the 1948 book, he says, the ultimate aim is to free up both hands and feet from dependence on one another, and to this means the exercise should be practiced in reverse as well. The first mention of open-handed playing, and this was back in 1948, when there was really only one traditional method for playing the drum set. Number three, Syncopation by Ted Reed, published in 1956. This is the first reading book that should be given to any student. It'll give them everything they need to understand notation and playing rhythms against a quarter note. I've used this book, like the Stone and the Chapin book, in so many different ways over the years. In fact, the famous director of percussion at Berkeley School of Music, Alan Dawson, had 49 ways to play the pages in syncopation. It was a whole class for him. 
I still use it almost daily after all these years. It's a great book to learn rhythms, reading, syncopation, and if you use it correctly, hand technique and set independence. Now, number four, Accents and Rebounds by George Lawrence Stone, released in 1961. This is the sequel to Sick Control, and it combines the method of Stone and the great Joe Morello, who was his most famous student. And this is the one that will reform your hand technique. Once you can play these accents in that book with proper rebound, your hands are going to take off to another level. The book has been updated recently with the proper up and down markings, and that makes it a real game changer, and it's been a game changer for years with a lot of players out there. Number five, New Breed by Gary Chester. Now, I was studying with several teachers in New York and also teaching students when this Independence book came out in 1985. I remember all the teachers being blown away by the possibilities of gaining this serious freedom on this chat. Chester made it clear with this book that open-handed playing was a reality and he had the means to get there. There's 39 different systems in that book. You're playing the pages, you're saying them out loud, and you're trying different combinations. And it'll keep you working for years. Dave Weckl, the great Dave Weckl, has praised Gary Chester many times in interviews because of the way it has you work independence and you read and you vocalize the notes at the same time. So this last year, I made a commitment to open-handed playing, and New Breed has become my new best friend. And if I need to work on a pattern that gives me a problem, that's the book. Now, last, number six, It's Your Move by Dom Famulero. Dom was a star student of Joe Morello, and Joe Morello was a star student of George Lawrence Stone. So that tells you what to expect from this book. Now, in it, Dom has refined all the teachings of Morello and Stone in a way for the 21st century to understand, and along with his own methods, that'll be the new foundation of our house for the next generation. I'm currently a student of Dom's. I'm a friend of his, and I was also a student of his back in the 80s. And if I have a problem with some of this aspect of my technique, I open his book. I work through that section until I see what I'm doing incorrectly. It's amazing stuff, and he's an amazing teacher. But Dom has gone on to become this generation's master teacher and motivator. And like his teachers before him, he's passing this knowledge along. His list of students are the great players and teachers that are out there now, literally the greats in the world, all reach out to him with issues. So read through the first half of It's Your Move and you'll get a much better idea of the famous molar technique, free stroke, control stroke, and how to execute them. So there, you have the top six books every drummer needs to study and I truly believe they are necessary for any student of the drum set. Now look, these are not five minute quick YouTube fixes. You're gonna have to spend some time with it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Whenever I see a great drummer, what I really see is the hours and hours and dedication they spent to practicing. And I guarantee you at some point, they went through some, if not all, six of these books. Bottom line, get busy, get these six books, study them with a the teacher, that's very important, and shed them over and over and spread the teachings of these great teachers of the next generation of drummers. It's what drummers do, we share. Thanks everyone for watching. I very much appreciate it and I will see you on the next video. If you have any questions, email me at guygelso at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.